I'm here today to go into the building behind me to interview Mr Matt Boucher. Matt is the Chief Officer of Adult Social Care in Dudley. The main focus for Adult Social Care in Dudley over the last year has been uh, safeguarding. So we've got 35% more people coming to us with concerns about abuse, be it physical, financial, emotional, etc. Uh, the hospital, uh, we've got ever-growing increasing numbers of people being admitted to hospital and as a social care team we've, we're responsible for discharging people with care needs back home. Financial abuse in particular has been a big focus because we've got a lot of people that are victims of scams in the borough. We've got a Dudley Disability Service that's pulled together children's and adults with disability services. So we've been dealing with rising demand and we've had to find about three million quid's worth of savings at the same time as well. The Adults Alliance as a system has focused on loneliness and isolation. We've had a lot of engagement with people who traditionally don't come into services, who sit on the outside. And one of the key things that they're telling us is transport's a major barrier for people. If they can't get access to transport close to home to get them out into the community over a period of time people don't and that's where loneliness, mental health problems, poor physical health can all increase. Um, my greatest concern about adult social care both nationally and in Dudley is the continued inability of government to get the green paper sorted. So we've gone on a hand-to-mouth basis in terms of resources for a very long time, there have been umpteen commissions that have looked at the issue, whether you're talking about Andrew Dilnot or Kate Barker, there have been a number of parliamentary select committees all focusing on the issue. The problem is we haven't yet got the right legislation to deal with social care in the future and as a country we haven't decided how we want to resource it. I think if social care is going to be effective in five years time, then what we need to do is focus on prevention. So that is all the stuff that sits before somebody comes and has an assessment. Do we have the services in the community? Do we have people accessing advocacy? Do carers have the right support that they need? Have we got proper prevention for mental health? Have we got the right physical environment for people to live in? Have people got happy, productive, fulfilled lives? All those sorts of things. If we can maintain a focus on prevention as much as we can the emergency services that we've got to maintain, then the system will be sustainable and more importantly the quality of care will be right.